Hello, and in this video, we're going to be creating a hex cam or hexagon, hexagon cam uh, using OnShape with uh, again with parameters or parametric settings. Uh, so in this case, we can see uh, the whole length of it's going to be D. So from one edge to the center is one half our diameter. Uh, so first, we're going to go to OnShape. We're going to go to where we created our box, and we're going to start a new part. So we're going to create part studio. And in this part, again, we want to set up our parameters first. So we're going to do this configuration panel. Uh, click, click the down arrow and configuration variable. First one will set as D, will default as two inches. We can change it to whatever value we want, though. And then hit our green check. Uh, then we'll add a second one. So we'll come down here again and do configuration variable. And we'll just do, name the second one whole. And I'm going to default that to 0.25 and hit our green check uh, once we've done those then we can go back and start working on our part so i'll close that window down just to make it easy to see uh, and we'll start our sketch so again we're doing a hexagon cam uh, so we need a hexagon shape and again instead of uh, 3 16th i'm going to do a quarter of an inch or 0.25 uh, so we go to our sketch i'm just going to select the front and then i'm going to turn my front view I'm going to select the polygon uh, and then just start my polygon in the middle. Uh, this time, once you have your polygon out, you just click. We want a hexagon, so six is the right configuration. And now we have that in the right location. Uh, then we want a dimension. So I'm just going to go from one edge to the complete opposite edge. And I know that's going to be a distance of D. So I'm just going to type in D and then hit enter twice. Uh, then we need a hole in the middle, so I'm just going to hit take my circle, go right in the middle, and click. And then we need to dimension that as well, so I'm going to hit escape and hit my dimension and click on that circle. I pull out and I can type in hole and hit enter twice. Now I have my hole the correct size, I have my hexagon the correct size, so all I have to do is finish my sketch, hit the green check, and extrude it. So I click on it. We extrude it again. If you can just click on an angle to see it, I want to change it to 0.25 and hit enter. That gives me my hex cam. Uh, last thing to do is just rename it. So I'm going to rename it to hex cam. So rename hex cam and then come down here where it says part studio and we'll rename it as hex cam as well. Uh, hopefully, this helps in creating your hex cam. Uh, if you have any trouble, just take your time, make sure you getting it dimensioned correctly uh, using these uh, configurations. Uh, good luck!